See, we all, as a startup, when we start a business, always we feel like we don't have enough money to expand the business. So when we don't find that money, so what we do normally, uh, we look for investments. If any investor can come and park some money on our business, help us to grow the business. The main intention when we go to the market with our pitch deck, with our pitch deck kind of a thing, looking for an investor to put in money on our ideas, the, that is like, we, we always promise them, Ki you invest on us, we'll help your investment grow. Normally what we have seen off late, people had made this valuation game as a joke. It's becoming like, they feel like, I have an idea, it is my right to uh, raise fund. Once in somebody investing on us, they feel like it is their money and they can spend it as a, as a they want it. But I understand you it's a responsibility. Anytime if you're thinking of raising a fund for your business, it's a responsibility. You are actually committed to those investors. You are committed to give them a better return. You need to really manage their funds in the rightful way. You should not splurge it. You have to spend the money wisely in only building your company, building your business and make it more profitable. Your end focus should be not to burn money. Your end focus should be to how I can run my company more profitably. So a good amount of big businesses, they come into limelight nowadays because they get some huge valuation and huge funding. But we all need to see like, have, have they been running those business profitably? They're not. They feel like, I have money today, I'll burn it, I'll get second round of funding, I can burn even more. And all they are lo looking right now is coming into limelight. Okay? Limelight, I'm just telling you, is a long run you need to look for, not the one or two days of limelight you're coming in the media. Every business is completely dependent on the nature of the business. As far as the break-even time, gesture period is concerned, I'm just telling you it depends on the business. And uh, the some business you get to see in the very first year, some business you get to see in three years, some you get to see in five years, some in seven years. Okay, especially when you get into manufacturing and in industry, everything is a volume game. Today you start with a small setup, then you feel like yeah, I'm getting a better order, let me expand my factory, to so put in the money again into the business, then expand it, next day to next level. So normally manufacturing industry takes five to seven years of just period. If you are a trader, if you are taking your franchise and running for some other year, there are chances that you might even see profits in the very first year possible, if you run it in a smart way. Okay. So, Gestation period is that depending on the businesses. So I have multiple ventures in the thing. I have seen one of my first ventures which was that apart from Just Dial. The Just Dial took nearly six years. <coughs> and we really saw uh, profitability, all the stuff. And as far as other ventures, I have a manufacturing setup which is there, which has taken almost six years to see profit. I have some other business which has been there, like software development and all which has seen profit from the very first year.